Good morning, guys, and welcome to Punta Gorda, Florida at the American Pickleball Tournament here at the Pickleplex. We are getting ready to kick off our Mixed Pro Doubles Day. I'm here with none other than Eddie from Eddie and Webby. Good morning, buddy. Well, good morning. It's so good to be on the mic with you again, man. It's been a little while. It has been a year and a half. Too long. To be exact. Exact. To this date. Yeah, it, it pretty much is. A year and a half to the date. Um... And, but I, I do, I, I have to get this out of the way right now, okay? Because I helped you, because you asked me to come on board in Grand Rapids a year and a half ago, that is why I'm doing what I'm doing right now with all this commentating. It's because of that day. I talked with Ken after that. He's like, I like what you're doing. I like how you sound. Will you do it for the APP tour? And I said, absolutely. So I have to thank you for that, for bringing me in the booth that day, because that's what he listened to, that's what he heard, and that's why I am where I am. So thanks, buddy. Well, that's really nice, man. And, Absolutely. Uh, to everybody out there who gets to listen to uh, Dominic do his commentary, you're welcome. <laughs> it's, it's all because of Eddie. Um, so we are getting ready to kick off, like I said, Mixed Pro Day here. We have a, a, a nice, uh, fun matchup uh, today on uh, Court 1. We have Dominique Lemper and Justin Romero taking on Jennifer Tavernier and Ryan Sherry. So we have two somewhat locals, Dominique uh, down in Naples and Ryan in Fort Myers. Justin is uh, over in the Keys on the east coast of Florida, and Jen is from Minnesota. So uh, she's enjoying the weather down here. Um, we're freezing because it was cold in the 60s, but... Uh, She's enjoying the weather down here, and we're looking forward to a good first match here. That's right. I'm excited to be able to uh, to see this one, and you know, this is a uh, there's a lot of talent out on this court right now, especially for the first match of the day. Yes, absolutely. So it's gonna be a good start to our day here, Eddie. All right, here we go, guys. All right, so kind of shaping up how I'm thinking it's going to with uh, Dominique and Jen. Uh, going to go cross court and have that battle there um, because I know Justin and Ryan are going to try and jump in there in the middle a little bit. Ryan, uh, big tennis background, played at Florida, uh, has a very nice forehand. Justin as well, coming from tennis. Both of those guys are going to look to be aggressive here. And right on cue. Jen takes a nice rip of the ball, so uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's no lack of aggressiveness from Jen either, uh, also coming from that tennis background. All right, going for it, and I think maybe a little too early there. Jen, it's two really good digs on that point, um, but Ryan going for one, I think, just a little too early there. That's a good shot there by Justin. <clears throat> nice little uh, Ernie move by Jen there. Now she is every bit of 5 2 on a good day, I think, but uh, very flexible, got around that kitchen, hit a pretty good shot. Put Justin there for it. So Ryan going for that lob. Um, not sure he was really expecting uh, it to not to go that far, but they are into the wind, so that lob kind of held up for him. Uh, Justin hit overhead, but Ryan playing good defense there. Two 
Two one two here, game one <clears throat> on center court here. Jen got what she wanted, just dumped it in the net a little bit. Oh, that's a great shot. Good defense by Dominique right there. And uh, for us locals here, Dominique hits that uh, – Cross court shot and hit a what we call a pickleplex line here. Lines are a little slick, so once that ball hits that line, skips off it a little bit. Made it a little difficult there for. One four one here. Court thirteen, Margie Ito and Mark Saruska versus Miss Bella and Tony Wells. Oh. Court thirteen. Ryan read it right, but Dominique just Bell dropped it. Enough into the kitchen that made Ryan reach and he just pulled that out a little bit. Players in court thirteen can report to court thirteen. Referee is bringing Good hold by Justin and Dominique there. 4-1-1 here in game one. That's a good spot by Jen on that dink. What you'll notice from Dominique, Dominique will not get caught going the same spot with her dink each and every time. She is going to move that dink inside and out. It's just something that I know she does, and she does it very well. Great drop from the baseline by Jen. That's a tough shot. She's on her heels trying to drop that ball in the opposite corner. Did a good job. Dominique trying to keep her back, just overcooks it a little bit. And Jen and Ryan are back on the board now, 2-4-1. You're doing a lot of movement over here, Eddie. Everything okay? You good? Everything's you good? good. You good? All right. Got to make sure this live stream's looking good. <laughs> Eddie's just being quiet. He's running around. Something, start, something startled him a little bit. Got up really quick right after we started. But he's back. He's back. I'm back. I'm here. Three, four, two. Ah, uh, Ryan looking down at that line. That's what it caught. Again, almost have to expect it here on these courts. The lines are a little slick, so any ball that hits those lines is going to skip off it. I thought it was just me, so I'm glad you <laughs> too. Oh no, we say it all the time. Oh. Jen, look at disgust. She knows she had Dominique pinned back there, just uh, couldn't get it over. Oh, just missed, nice try by Ryan. Six three one game one here on center court, the American Pickleball Tournament here at the Pickleplex in Punta Gorda. It's a lot warmer today, yes, brother. It is. Uh, <laughs> it didn't even feel like Florida here yesterday or early this morning as well. No, it was pretty cool out the past day and a half, at least for our standards. I guess it's relative, right? Yeah. Nice put away by Justin. Seven three two. 
Romero and Limper in control of this one so far. Shot by Justin Romero down the middle. Ball is not coming back. 9-3-2 here. And Justin just making his presence felt every bit of his 6-3 frame. Long yeah. reach. He definitely is uh, trying to get himself involved in the point as much as possible. And obviously with, with a reach like that, mm -hmm. it makes sense. And there it is. Game one, 11-3 to Lemper and Romero over Tavernier and Sherry. That's right. We're going to take a quick break, guys. We'll be back here in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Guys, you guys watching saw that nice new commercial for Ben, Colin, and Deckles Pickleball 360. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. I'm excited to uh, to see what that's more about. Maybe we'll learn more about it this weekend. Yeah. We got we have Deckel here with us. He was just behind us uh, creeping. That, that big boy, he's kind of a <laughs> creeper. <laughs> but we love him still. We love him. He's a good guy. You got to love Deckel. You got to love Deckel. If not, you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> Right. He's a gentle giant, though. <laughs> yes. Game two about to start here. Romero and Limper came out on top 11 3 in game one. That's a great shot by Dominique. She's so good at that. And you watch Dominique. Um, when she is up at the kitchen line, she is in that squatted position. She does it just as good as any of these pros out here. And she hits from so low. Good read by Justin, just missed it. And there it is again, that attack from low from Dominique. And when she hits that, she's not hitting it 100%. She's hitting about 60% because it's making Jen have to play that or else it's going to be in. Oh, Dominique with the great ATP as she points to the crowd. <laughs> great backhand yeah. flick by Justin. All right, so Dominique and Justin jump out to a quick 4 nothing lead here in game two, um, causing Jen to call a quick timeout. And uh, her and Ryan are going to have to discuss what they need to do to change this momentum because Dominique and Justin are all over this right now. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems like Dominique and Justin have been, I don't want to say dominating the match, but the momentum has been in their favor. They seem to have been more on the offensive a little bit more. Any more insights into perhaps why we're in this situation here, Dom? No, Dominique and Justin just started off really quick. Um, and you saw it was, a, a, again, every match is that first few points are a feeling out process. Well, game one, that feeling out process didn't last very long. And what happened was Justin was able to be aggressive a lot quicker. Um, and that put the momentum on their side right away in game one. And now, game two, they've just continued that momentum. Well, we'll see uh, 
if this timeout was beneficial, mm -hmm. maybe a little regrouping session, change the tides a little bit here. So Dominique gets put away right there, but let's go back to Justin's yeah. around the post with the backhand, his back turned. I think he wasn't even looking, um, but then an even better get by Jen to block that. Well, that's one thing I love is we're starting to see a little bit more, you know, ATPs are impressive, but sometimes even the block of the ATP is yep. equally, if not more impressive. Yep. All right, there's a much needed side out from Sherry and Tavernier. Let's see if they can get a little run together, get back in this game. There we go. Good hand battle. Able to get all those overheads back from Justin. Just keep that ball in play and force him to make an error. That's a good shot by Ryan. Now they double their score and we're at 2-6 on the one. That's the momentum they needed right there, Eddie. Yeah, it certainly is. Ryan shaking his head and nodding his head going, he had that, but just put a little too much on it. And it's not a bad shot if he just backs off it a little bit. Great spot by Dominique. That's good cross court from Sherry there. And that's what we need to see a little more of is that, you know, moving them around a little bit and make Romero and Lemper uncomfortable. They're just settled in right now. And there it is again. Shot. Yeah, right there. One thing I also noticed too is that the line, Ryan and Jennifer seem like they're a little bit more comfortable maybe taking a couple steps back and getting themselves into the play. Uh, where I've seen many of the other pros really want to own that line and take a lot of those shots out of the air. Do you think that that's playing into this at all? It is a little bit because what you see from Sherry and Tavernier is they both like to hit the ball a little harder. Um, so you're seeing that step back off the line. Mm -hmm. um, you, you started seeing that you know a couple of years ago uh, from a lot of the pros, giving themselves a little room and a little space to create room to drive that ball. And that is what Sherry and Tavernier like to do. There it is. That's that two-handed yeah. backhand from Sherry on a cross court. It's worked three times now in the past three minutes, so I think he really needs to recognize that and see that and work that. Play to the strengths. Great eye there. And Sherry just missing that on the on the sideline. Seven five one. Sherry and Tavernier get back in it there. They need a, another couple side outs here. 
That's a great shot there. And there's those two quick side outs from Tevernier and Sherry. Let's see if they can get back in this here. Creeping their way back. Oh, do not need that. No, and I, I think I could tell that the wind was picking up a little bit. I'm not sure if it mm -hmm. played into that at all, but, you know, I've, I've played here before where the winds can definitely shift on you very quickly. Mm-hmm. And just like that, Lampere and Romero side out Tavernier and Sherry quickly. And that's a good drive by Dominique down the line on Sherry's backhand. Oh. 9-5 on the one here in game two. Oh. Jen does such good work right there, working inside and out on Justin and Dominique, and then just makes a mistake in the middle, and we are at match point here. Time out from Tevernier and Sherry with match point on their paddle. That's right. We'll be back after these messages. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We have 10-5. Match point here. Oh, and there was Justin, a victim of the pickle plex line. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Skipped right off, and he's smiling about it. He knows. Look at Dominique, how low she gets. Oh, Justin, great shot down the sideline. And this first match of the day here at the American Pickleball Tournament goes to Limper and Romero, 11-3, 11-5. Eddie, thoughts? Well, it's not how I envisioned this match to go down here. No. Uh, but I definitely think that we saw there was a serious momentum shift on one side over the other, and I mm -hmm. think that led to uh, to the match win there for sure. Any other insights from you? No, absolutely. I, I have no doubts uh, that uh, Lemper and Romero will be around uh, for the day. Um, they did a great job, and, and like you said, the first match of the day is always a feeling out process, and it just seemed like uh, Justin and Dominique felt out Ryan and Jen a little quicker and had that momentum shift in their favor a lot faster. That's right. We have plenty more pickleball coming your way here, guys, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. See you shortly. Hey, guys, it's Eddie, and I want to thank you again for tuning in to the American Pickleball live stream hosted by Lauren Stratman and Deckel Barr. But I'm joined here again with Martina Coakley. What's going on, Martina? Hi, Eddie. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be at Pickleplex. Yeah, this place is awesome. This tournament has been great so far. But I think a lot of people out there might want to know a little bit more about what American Pickleball is. 
American Pickleball is a patriotic pickleball company. Uh, we are supporting military, veterans, and first responders. Um, this is very important to us as my husband is active duty military, still in the Army. Uh, we have another four and a half years left till retirement, but till then, we decided that we want to start American Pickleball and give back to the state of Florida first, start um, hosting best pickleball events around the state of Florida, and then possibly um, host somewhere else as well. Do you have any other tournaments coming up through American Pickleball in the near future? Our next tournament is going to be at Fort Myers, January 22nd. A tournament after that we're hosting in Sanibel Island, um, February 12th to 14th. And then one after, it's going to be in Palm Beach Gardens on the East Coast, March 26th to 28th. So sign up on PT.com. We're so excited to be hosting. Well, that's great. Well, if people want to actually follow you or find out more about you, how do they do that? So follow us on Instagram, Pickleball Fashionista or American Pickleball. Also follow us on Facebook. We are still trying to figure out Twitter. We'll be there too, but this is it for now. Well, that's great. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Martina. And let's get back to some pickleball action. Yes, Eddie, I'm so excited. Thank you. We represent NFL players after they're done. Our slogan is life after the game. We're out here, this is not about us finding the next NFL player, but making sure that we are encouraging young people to make sure that they're moving, making sure they're active. So I think it's important that they get introduced to guys that are actually doing it at an early age and to help motivate them in life. For the little guys, they're down on the ground with them, they're rolling with them, they're making sure that they're taking it easy on the throws. This is our future, and with, with the way the world is evolving now, it's good, like, it's good to give these kids as much knowledge as soon as you can, as much as you can. This just wasn't all about physical and training and stuff. It was also about mental and being aware of your surroundings. Even the work that I do to change these ex-NFL players' lives, it's, it, it still is a special place in my heart. Uh, maybe even furthermore, when you get to be able to change these kids' lives.